Hello and welcome to the Greg and Craig Show. I'm your host, Alec Taliano. I'll be leading us through today's discussion. We've got a lot of things to talk about. We have a lot of things going on with the presidential debate right now. We had a pre-game press conference here involving with the rape, with the rape victims. Should CNN have opened with a hot mic? And was Anderson too biased? There was a lot of interrupting. What about this town hall body language? The style of debates really brought out a lot of strange things that happened in the debate. We're going to be talking about that. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the overall odd situations here for Trump and Clinton coming down the line. And really, any kind of fallout that went on uh, during this debate. And uh, basically, does Trump live to die another day? We don't know. You'll find that in our last segment along with final thoughts. But I think what we want to do with our opening thoughts is talk about the presidential debate number two and winners and losers I'd like to introduce the panel members on the show you know them well they are the names to the show we have craig ryan on my left what up what up and Let's get Gre- it going. gregory allen on my right how we follow doing that up cheers america <laughs> <laughs> where everybody knows your name hey, 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 hey. okay i think we're gonna have a good show today thank you for all for joining us um, like I said, we want to do some opening thoughts here in the press. Episode three. three. Number two. Episode, oh. episode three. Episode three. No, this is episode uh, three, yeah. Yeah, episode three. The first one doesn't count. The first one was The first really one, bad. I don't it even was think should have been put up. That was a practice yeah. one, yeah. This is the second episode. Mm. And it's going to be a good episode. I'm yeah. completely new to talking in front of a microphone, so... We're trying new I'm strategies. I'm finally getting we comfortable get with this. We're, we're, we're moving the mics around. We're changing our postures. We're working on the room acoustics. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting this thing together, and we're going to sound good for you here real soon. Get you're going to love our show. We're going to have the best. It's the going greatest. to be huge. It's going to be a phenomenon in gold. itself. Yeah, I, I agree with all that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the enthusiasm from our host. I'm just trying to keep our levels right. I'm also half producing this show while I'm also trying to moderate and keep things fair between host all of us. Host of his own show. Yes, uh, please, oh, this isn't his. Please tune into the Alec Italiano yeah, show. Italian. Yeah. We'll have a brand new one coming up for you next week talking about uh, something interesting, actually, I don't think a lot of people think about is, but it's municipality size. Ooh. The, yes. The and, good thing. And, that, and how that affects uh, Pennsylvania's constitution in particular. So tune in. That one's going to be a riveting one. The, the good for thing for, for you of those out there that really don't know much about your pers- your own community locally here, Greensburg, Jeanette, Hempfield. I guess Pennsylvania also Westmoreland, Westmoreland, County, Westmoreland County, basically County. maybe a little bit in Pittsburgh. More land, more. Problems. If you don't know a lot about your own area, the Alec Italiano shows there, and we're going to talk about on there a, a lot of the local issues and things to better the life around there. And PA absolutely. politics. PA politics, more of a local spin on the show. I, I hope I can convince him to talk of a good way to get finances in the right direction with these local communities. Maybe we'll see. But <laughs> I'm working on absorbing. Jeanette into Hemfield. The Craig and Ryan I'm show, on, yeah, on the yeah. other hand, though, Does talks it? more about uh, national politics, especially especially this uh, current ele- events. The, the election that's going on yeah, right now, which basically is, is basically is the uh, the election. So, Greg, uh, what are your thoughts on the winners and the loser losers of this uh, of this last debate? Their delivery, their image. You know what what stood out for you. I would say if you hold them to the same standards, then it was about a draw. I think if you're looking for who uh, who had more to lose with last night's debate, I think that was the Donald. But I think he stopped the bleeding. He successfully made his way through without getting too far into the weeds with some of his a little more outlandish comments. Well, at the same time, I don't think there was all that much expected of him. I think anything short right. of him saying pussy – on the actual debate <laughs> stage on live camera, I, I think Anderson. I think Anderson Cooper was trying to get that out of him. I, I, I think. Yeah, I think there was generally an attempt to get underneath his skin, but he kept his calm for he the did. entire episode, for the entire show. Hillary dodged and dodged, and she played like a football team in the lead. Wasn't going for big plays. She just tried to play it pretty safe. And Somebody I, definitely sat Trump down beforehand, though, and Kelly, calmed Kelly his temp- and temper. Like he was talking. He was Maybe gave him some actual pointers. Trying to time. seem a little bit more caring, come across as somebody who's not it this. Might, it might have been the press conference with the rape victims. Maybe they told that, that temper Trump, that was you need to be bizarre. Is that why you wanted that to go better. first? Yeah, yeah, I figured that was a natural <laughs> transition right uh-huh. there. You could just let that stand. I was yeah. I was making that move for you. They, I appreciate that. But uh, 
I, I thought this debate was interesting because I thought Hillary really fired some major shots across the bow here uh, to Donald Trump. And really, like you were saying, it's it's hers to lose at this point, I think. You know, she, she put herself in the driver's seat. Uh, she really did a good job of making Donald look dumb, which, you know, contrary to some preconception out there, is actually kind of hard to do. You know, I mean, the, Trump doesn't exactly get intelligence points from a lot of voters out there. Donald but got the good one-liners in there. He did. I mean, he, he, he talks like... Great late a blanket. He set up... How I think dare he set up we... <laughs> you besmirched the name of the late great. <laughs> he set up some good commercial bites. We'll, we'll say oh, that. Oh, yeah. I, agree I mean, he did... It, he played his role. And, uh, you know, he did his best to calmly uh, rebook, you know, Hillary and, uh, you know, try to walk her back on some of her comments. And I think he did get a little bit more angry as the debate went on, interrupted a lot more often... Uh, you know, did his less, best. Less than the first time, though. Less than the first time, but he really did his best to deflect questions he didn't want to answer, and he really just harped on emails and, uh, you know, Bill and, and, and just really just blamed the media, he, did a lot of finger pointing, he, he said the moderators biased. weren't fair. Three on one. Know. Oh, actually, it's three on one. Yeah. yeah. And I, Stuff I like agree, that, I agree with him there. Yeah, I felt like it was three on one. So it because the be- viewer it looked like three on one against Donald Trump. Maybe, but I, because of that, I think actually I give Hillary the, the win last night for those couple of I, – I think, I think you are right. I mean, you know. We are trying to pick a winner and a loser here. I did the la- I did the same thing last show where I sort of copped out and said, you know, both both VP debates kind of you know. I, I, I was looking well, for her to be more aggressive. That was my main beef with her. Is I was looking for her to take a couple more shots. I was I was surprised she stayed I she did. as tempered as she. Did. I, I, I thought she did. I, I think that's where she lost it. She didn't attack back. Trump went full out on the attack and brought up every issue that his supporters definitely wanted to hear. And I think he. he, he maybe got a lot of people to look into some things they maybe never really thought about looking into. He gave his supporters the red meat. Yeah. They he, wanted to see someone check a Clinton. I, I, feel, on stage. I give Trump, I give Hillary the win for the first debate and I give Trump the win for the second debate. I think we're tied right here going into week three. My last question to you about this, Damn. the opening thoughts on the debate I though, was there really any substance to this debate? <laughs> I and mean, we talked about this in the Craig Ryan show where it was like basically took 45 minutes for them to act talk about anything that resembled policy but this really does look like a cheap reality show put on on like you know the penny dime here so i i I just don't know i didn't hear much i I didn't hear much i'm not sure we saw any substance from either candidate besides references to their websites references to things that they've already said i know my my plan they they started talking a little bit about taxes and the affordable care act and and some different policy i mean very i'm not i'm not saying they got into detail yeah they didn't get into detail i'm not saying that these candidates did anything good i think we have the worst shit show is part of my language that i've ever seen but they they talked a little bit but i was was 45 minutes in on that note I, i think people saying this whole thing about wanting substance is it's it's paying lip service of, of course, you're going to say that you want to talk about the issues. But in all reality, I think the things that the, the news covers, the, the stuff that makes the biggest story, is not necessarily the substance. Because we know, well, usually, we're supposed to know where the candidates stand on a lot of issues going into the debate. Right it's, now, it's how they right. can articulate and defend their positions. Mm-hmm. So it's more of a image, necessarily, than... So coming up with Amer- some new America likes this reality show yeah. type of atmosphere. Does anybody does anybody really, really want substance? Do we really want substance? Do we just say we want substance? Or they, we, they want a show. Want, yeah. If people like actually honesty. care, they'd be very. Do we want project. honesty? Because the honest situation right now is very bleak. Gary Johnson would be the front runner, <sighs> which I think he may be. Maybe I, he was I, the big winner last what, night. What, what Maybe every candidate not there. Videos. It looks like CNN's coaching their staff. People on the. Or not staff, their panels. Somebody on the panels actually posted on their social network that they in twelve others or eleven others, I think it was a total of twelve, voted for Gary Johnson whenever they asked yeah, them who they were going to support. Yeah, we saw that. And they changed the question around to make it them undecided, undecided and not Gary voters. Johnson voters. I honestly think that Gary Johnson may have the most support and they're just trying to make people feel like a vote for Johnson is a waste of vote when it's not. Yeah. I, I agree. I think there is a because if you're, I don't see there are a lot. I don't think there are a lot of independent voters that are really waffling between Hillary and Donald. I think they're more waffling between do I go with one of the main candidates or do I go with one of these waste to vote. 
candidates. To me, to me, that's what more of the debate was, was trying to stave off that third party vote, just like we talked about with the last one, you know, so we'll see how good of a job they did there. But uh, obviously, you know, you turn on uh, the radio today, you pick up a newspaper, turn on a television, people were talking about this uh, pregame press conference with the rape victims and, and uh, you know, obviously we had the video and, and the audio, not the video, the audio that came out too. So the locker room talk. The locker room talk. Yeah. And, and all <laughs> what a hypocrite he is. Oh. Yeah. What a hypocrite. And uh, so, you know, it, that our first question we have up on here is, does that affect the independent voters? I say absolutely yes. I mean, I don't see how it doesn't, you know. Uh, with this, with this, the press conference and, and the in the it, flow that you have, it, it really comes down to: Do you want to see Hillary get eviscerated mm-hmm. live on camera? Like, right. basically, do you want to see her cry? I thought that was coming. C- could you imagine walking on stage, your daughter and husband sitting in the front row, and the, besides the three people accusing you of rape? That would be. I'm impressed that she managed Not to... Not accusing her, accusing I, her husband. I didn't know that that happened. I didn't find out till afterwards that the press conference happened. I think having that, like all that going forward, Too much. She, she stayed pretty composed for all that that being dropped she seemed pretty flustered though like she doesn't like well, that topic uh, she does not like to be bring uh, up, brought up wouldn't it, wouldn't it fluster you too how how does it really reflect your She's, character it, it's one of those spouses? things it's hard to defend like you stayed with a man who admitted to having an affair with you which is fine <laughs> I'm all for, for America for working the, through their situations and hard times as a family but how do you, how do you defend it whenever you're out there saying that these people you know deserve the right to be heard whenever good do you want to give a little context to the this pregame uh press conference just maybe for those of the for those who didn't pick it up well it was really uh, cnn let it leak really early sunday morning that they were the first question was going to be the hot mic they were going to force trump to explain his lewd comments we'll get into that in a second here because we don't have that really wasn't opinion. the first question though was it which i thought was funny it because the first question was supposed to be about something else which n- it's Hillary supposed Clinton. to be a town hall it's supposed to be people asking right. the question well, i don't the, know why the cnn person, decided to yeah. hijack well that's what i'm saying the person's question had nothing to do about it, it had no. something more to do about like teachers or something like but, that we don't even remember but when that leaked i think mm. trump took the initiative of if you're going to go down this road if hillary's going to get opening comment to launch into me I'm going to jump the gun an hour and a half. I'm going to make sure that all of these people are there that are going to make this, right. m- mute this point, deflect this whole object. I think it, it successfully did that, as in I'm surprised Hillary didn't pursue the comments Some, Trump made else. more. I'm surprised right. she seemed to actually let it go a little bit without that much of like, okay, fine, tick for tack. So we aren't going to talk about this. I think it's funny, though, that Hillary's able to bring in Miss Ameri- Miss Universe <sighs> people who can do the same exact thing as being attacked at her, and people that are, are mad that, that, that Trump's bringing the people up, and she's she's bringing up the same exact person that or it's not the same exact person. She's bringing up somebody with the same scenario against Trump, mm. not rape, but with verbal, and people are fine with that. But, but there's, yeah, vid- there's video b- evidence. God forbid we bring up a rape accusation. I mean, it, it, I mean, anybody can accuse anybody of rape. None of these. But we have multiple accusations in the midnight. But we've already sorted through this in the mid nineties. We had a trial about this, and nobody was found guilty. So okay. no, no new evidence is going to come. So down. was that the a suit part? was settled out a case so on the official on. record? Hold on, hold on. I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but the suit was handled. Re- regardless of what off. happened in the past and how it was handled. Was it a smart move for Donald Trump to have this press conference? And even, like, you know, he put him in the front row. No. I mean, it was this, he's, was not, this he's not the right person to be uh, yeah, bringing the message. It, it, might, so. it might have recruited, if he's making a play towards Bernie supporters that just can't do Hillary, that wanted to see her get Crumbled. eviscerated. Right. If those people Maybe. aren't on the Johnson train yet, I don't, they, they don't have a word. No, I, I know several <laughs> that are voting Trump now. I know a, a lot more than I would have ever guessed Bernie it, it, supporters it, that are supporting it, it just shows they had no Trump idea now. what they were supporting. Uh, yeah. They had no yeah. clue. I, they didn't I, even know. They, I, they just wanted to be a part of a revolution. There was just as high of a percentage of incoherent Democrats as there are Republicans. Mm-hmm. And it makes sense. for them. Why not support Trump? Okay, it, it, that, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, I mean, honestly, they, they shouldn't even be supporting Johnson. Johnson doesn't... <sighs> Yeah. agree with them at all uh fiscally 
Joe Stein getting money out of politics. Candidate. That's a big. That's, but, that's oh yeah, big he's issue. getting money out of politics, but for he doesn't do anything to now. stop the uh, the the, the separation between the top tier earners in our yes. country and the middle yes. class. He doesn't yes. do anything to stop no. that. No. He, he wants to get away from the income tax and go towards a sales tax. But, but I think the bigger issue was money in politics for Bernie supporters. That was a big issue. Is right. Personally, right. I, no, I'm, for, I'm not a Bernie supporter. Play, this is looking from the outside. I think it was no. the social issues a lot. It's, I, th- I thought you were a burner crack. I really <laughs> did. Some of the people. Really did. To get back to the original question, though, about this, the pregame press conference and the rape victims and did it make a difference? And I'm even going to tie in the... Uh, you know the audio that was released yeah, about on Donald. Craig's show. We played the audio. We played out. the I, audio. If you haven't heard it by show. now, yeah, I, I'm not gonna play it on again. Show. I, I have the full audio too, uncut. I, I, but I think what it does do is it takes the fencers um, D- to, f- to finally give in to Clinton. I think that's I think that's the uh, because I, I think those fencers are thinking Clinton third party more than they are like oh Clinton Trump Trump third party. I think it's like you know the Trump supporters are there. They're, they're solidified. It definitely being someone who is a Gary Johnson supporter, but we're sort of censors ourselves. If he doesn't make all, make it to a debate stage, it's going to be very hard for right. me to cast a vote for someone who doesn't have a chance. The, this sort of brought that people that pushed me the, closer to Hillary. Exactly. Watching that, it's like this has nothing to do with anything. This that is trying to drum to up something that failed in the '90s. Trying to get it again twenty years later just looks petty. It just doesn't. It doesn't come across. No, well, nothing new has came out. But the there people, was no, no, new, no news was broke. There, yeah, there was absolutely no news. Yeah, this is just between the taxes. The, this video, I, the Trump's no, language, no news was broke. I, I can read you no from his book. Here. He talks like that. Right, that is just exactly. if, you, if you don't what? realize that Donald Trump talks like that, you have to be surprised that like the world's the world or, or orbits the sun. This is not news. The fact that Trump has it's not news. No, I agree uh, with you. Is the the locker room uh, Craig, yes, you, talk. We have is, that, is that what views. we're talking about yes there? we're talking yeah. does that so, work for you does him just calling this locker room talk you know i'm, I'm with the boys here's here's my take okay being from primarily labor jobs blue collar yeah coming up you know working in warehouses on in the oil fields things like that yeah this thing goes on non-stop this is this is nothing new to if you are dating, married to, know anybody who works in those fields, and they Ooh. tell you they don't participate or at least are not around <sighs> these kind of conversations, they are lying to you. Well, being around not them been or participating? I mean, not stopping it at all, or okay. not even showing that it's it's inappropriate. Laughing at it. Billy Bush playing know. along. Making sides. Yeah. It, Do you think he was they, wrong or a victim of... <laughs> and, and, he got, and he got uh, he's, suspended. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's he got right suspended. Now. Yeah. And that was, he went that was the, the commentary I heard. He was part yeah, of it. He, he, he was, was just as guilty. But, um, does he deserve to be dis- suspended? Are we really going to be holding people to a standard like this uh, for I a company so. that he used well, to work for? Trump to I, think, not? I think he's if, not running if, for if, he's not if running if for president. Craig, if, if, if a company, if what Craig said is true about the majority of blue call labor, blue collar labor work work jobs. Having this kind of dialogue, and that is an issue. That hey, maybe and, we and that's why they're not talking separate. about this. That's why they're not separating from Trump. It's, it's, yeah, these that's, kind of things aren't going to cause his supporters. How did the evangelicals still support this though? He's that, that's bragging about infidelity. How do you it's, have? I mean, how, how do you even t- take, a, take aside the sexual assault no. comment? Just if you're an evangelical. The fact that he just so casually it's talks just, about they're choosing marital affairs because they feel like Hillary lies. That's that's how they feel. And they feel that Trump's the lesser of two evils. I mean, I, I don't vote for the lesser <coughs> of two evils. I, think a I lot vote of for who I support. Are like but that. That, when, when I, that's <clears throat> the reason they're still supporting him. It makes no sense. See, when he, when he calls it locker room talk, I really don't view it as that. I view it as creepy old perv at the bar. A little bit. Is that like you, you go and sit down. Okay, you're waiting for your crew to show up. There's only one seat left available. So you take a set. See, you don't know who's to your left or right. All of a sudden, you know, an attractive waitress walks by, whatever, and the creepy guy beside you leans in and goes, mm, back when I was in my prime, I would have had my way. Some ridiculous, inappropriate comment. And they're drunk, and they say it too loud, and you know people around hear it. I don't want to be tied. I don't want to be associated with this person. I didn't do anything to get involved in this conversation. I, I'm so used to being around those kind of things. I feel like everywhere I see, in I'm, society, I'm, there's I'm somebody very like, uncomfortable for me to just that, try I just to try and ignore that. Okay, dude. But then again, I don't check. I don't say to the guy, yo, you shouldn't talk like that. That's inappropriate. Because right. I'm not trying to start a fight with a stranger. 
I think this just bar, this adds room. this adds to uh, but it's it's awkward. It, it makes me uncomfortable. This adds to the mystique and I think the appeal actually to Donald Trump in some regard is because he talks like the everyman. He talks he like does. that blue collar worker. What like, 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 like an idiot. He, he talks like an idiot. He that's does the not appeal. Talk Let's not like generalize, Greg. Let's not generalize. But I'm just saying the, that's the, the, that's the voter demographic that he's starting to pick up steam with. Don't go to that have main, been you that have been traditionally Democratic voters in the past, and I think that's why he's a real shot at winning this election. You can't go though from talking about his. The way he talks to name calling, you you gotta avoid that. No, it's, I I think people that you can't no, call them idiots. Why it's, can't I say someone that believes that because they're a star that they have the right to just grab a woman wherever they want? I think they're an idiot. Yes, I stand. I think that is deplorable. I think rhetoric. It may and be it's wrong. not acceptable. It, it may be wrong. It may not be acceptable. But I think it's true. I think it's but, I, okay. Then sure if it is true, true, we need to fix that. That needs to How become do you fix untrue. That? If women allow because it to happen, these people should be true. public. Well, they should be public. Right now, we're watching it, and a bunch of people are getting on the air. A bunch of guys are getting on the air going, I don't talk like that because I don't want to be lumped reason. in. I don't politicians. Wanna, no, because over 50% of males don't talk like that. I don't think – I think there are a lot of them are denying it. Really? I, I'm around guys enough. And, and I'm yeah, saying, yeah, you are, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> I mean <laughs> – I'm this just is, saying I'm, ar- I'm around guys enough uh, that I know – primarily what to expect when i'm in a scenario where there's no women around it's just guys and i'm guilty myself maybe not to ex- i've never said what he said but what's your threshold i think what's that's what they're saying is he took to it say? he took it to yeah he took it to the end of the he took it to sexual but harassment. i've seen a lot of people take it beyond his level that's what i'm saying and it doesn't surprise me to hear that conversation from a presidential candidate from a presidential candidate it's surprising from a potential world leader but setting somebody, the example for what we think the rest of the country but somebody be. who i who essentially we don't know essentially he never really planned on being a politician so i, I don't know really i think i could in one of our segments reading his books from the 90s early right. 2000s he that knew he, well, brought up he politics knew and, and he also acknowledges the fact that he's too blunt and too crude to ever be a politician several times he goes i'm not running because i think i'm going to be viewed as too blunt so too maybe now he just felt like we're well, just never going to get the option out of work now. and uh, he's running. maybe maybe and i'm not endorsing him people i'm just stating the, the last he's, he's defending now i'm not defending him slightly. i am talking about slightly. the issues i mean there, there's I mean, actually a slight defense for donald trump here i think actually because you're taking something, not exactly out of context, but you're... He's wearing a mic. He's wearing a mic that he didn't know was on, and it was something that happened how long Strangers. ago? Strangers. He was not good friends. Ago, 14 years ago? 10 years. 2005. 10 years. Yeah, okay. So I he, was, he was 59. Donald's I hate that, actually. He was 59 years old. He was 59 old. years I, I old. 59 but years you're old. still holding somebody to a standard that it was, it's not them right now. And so I think that just, just a, that's just a disclosure. I mean, we do the same Let's, thing for Hillary. We claim I assume she doesn't have somebody the same stances got, because of how long ago okay, it was. If it, I assume if, somebody got okay. wiser as they got older. If it comes... I don't think a lot of people change from 59 to 70. Maybe I don't think not, that's when your, not, um, your mental, your emotional evolution I'm not going to generalize, though. I'm not going to... I'm going to essentially give them the benefit of the doubt here a what, little bit. What if a clip from Celebrity Apprentice 2012 came out? As Craig pointed out in his show, more of these are coming. Oh, yeah. And, and how long well, no, I didn't point that This out was three There's, years ago. This was 10 this years is, ago. Because he is a pop star, this is the risk, right? I mean, this is... You're subject to this. But I he's mean, being a hypocrite. He he has fired people for doing yes, exactly yes. what he's claiming oh, yeah, he's is okay being a hypocrite. with himself. So even if we want to say that there are people out there that do the same exact thing, he has fired people for the same exact thing. So why shouldn't he be fired I think right now? I, I'm calling on society from here on. Who, who honestly is out there still supporting either of these candidates in an honest way other than just saying, well, he's so much worse than The her. other one's going to lead to yeah, global doom. It, who, who's other actually supporting their candidate the right now for what they believe? I haven't heard anybody say it. <sighs> the last comment I want to make about this, I, though, I, is I, just I, about I, elections in general. And we saw I, this happen a little bit with our last election. Is oh, and to put them in the front row. The power, we talked about that, the power that a single audio clip or video can have, the 47% we saw happen last time, and now with this this audio coming out of Donald, and apparently there's a lot more coming. You know, this I this is the new so age. Not. It's they not so much. It's not a report that's breaking this news. Do, it's these actual. Clips. Do you think this is similar to the 47%? Yeah, I, do. I would say this is a lot worse. In my opinion, just in my opinion. Maybe, but it has it's having the same effect on the campaign. So that's the okay. correlation I'm trying okay. to make here. But from now on, don't check people. If they start talking like this, you call it what it is. It's a creepy, pervy old man. 
You don't just go around with the jokes and go, ha ha ha. This yeah. Is, this is why we That's didn't want. This is why we didn't want Donald Trump running in the first place. Yeah. Is because I think a lot of people knew his character before he even got up on any kind of debate stage. Or we you put have a micro- to be surprised that a- the sun rises not to know that this is going to happen. Right. Like this wasn't. This but isn't news. We are seeing though, just to let everybody be aware of this. All you Trump supporters out there, so on board with his campaign. Turns out from the Hillary leaks that they were actually uh, pushing. Yeah, for they Donald were. Trump to become they the candidate because they felt like he would be an easy defeat. Yeah. And I think we're going to get into that. Maybe backfiring on him. I think we're going to get in that little low on the show. We are. Show, we but definitely are. I would like it's to a remind. Conspiracy theory. Would like to remind it everybody. A, poor that Ted Cruz. This Just is this is the Craig Ryan show and Gregory Allen show, and we are transitioning right now into another segment. Thank you all for listening. Right now, we're we're talking about the debate. Right now, we're talking about the effect that media has on the, on everything, and you know, and I'd like to talk about CNN here a little bit. It's over. It's over. Should they have opened with a hot mic? And was Anderson Cooper too biased? There was a lot of interrupting. Uh, for those of you who have listened to our show in the past, you know how I like to be critical of the media here. Mm-hmm. Um, we got some media haters in the building. A little I, bit. I just think the debates are set up just terribly wrong. And it, 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 it pre, it, what we talked about earlier, with it took 45 minutes before policy was even thought about being spoken about. So, I, you know, I think it has more to do, like we talked about during the VP uh, show, about the setup of it. But I thought Anderson Cooper had played a very interesting role here. Um, I don't agree with you, Greg. I think you, you're saying CNN should have ho- opened with a hot, hot mic. Is that is that? I think safe it, it was say? the number one story. I, I I think what hurt Hillary is having to be the first to comment. Mm. I think it could would have played out differently had Trump led the opening two minutes, defending himself, and then Hillary would have been able to. Def- well, they flipped after, the coin apparently, right? It, it, the thing it's going to be the, they flipped this like months ago. I'm pretty sure she's going to be opening for every debate from here. Oh, on really? Out. I'm not positive. Because I think at the final, we'll talk about this later, but the final comment, the last question they had about say something positive, I think who went first affected that too. Yeah. I think if Trump was asked to say something positive right. the first time, first, yeah. he would have went, nah, nothing. Was, I, I don't know if I would have disliked that response. These two hate each other so much they didn't shake hands when they walked into Which, a debate. Like boxers even come out yeah, and touch their gloves. Yeah. Like there, there is a – They're about to fight they, each other. They're about to knock each other's brains out and they come out and touch up. These two come out and oh, ugh, awkward from <laughs> the first second. Like I was, just, and then the way they walked back around their chairs, yeah. like they just kind of wandered and didn't know like and, uh, who sits first. You sit. Oh, no, I'm well, Donald didn't even want to sit. <laughs> no, Donna. <laughs> sometimes he's just stretching his legs, taking a little lap around. The back. I'm gonna circle Hillary for a second here. It was awkward. I, uh, the, it was the, 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 the I mean, the best hall. they got the zoomed-in image of Hillary, and he's flapping his arms in front of her. Did anybody else see I that? know. <laughs> and then when Hillary got a question, she just charged right at she the seat. She didn't even notice the fly on. landed on her face. Did you see that? Too much Botox, I guess. I no, that was a professional politician, <laughs> realizing <laughs> that if she smacked her head there, that would be something that would go down in debate history. I Is thought the time that a fly. <laughs> I thought the fly was in my living room when it happened. I, I would until I saw it on. I saw I, it on social I, media. I, yeah, I saw, it, I saw like, it in slow oh, room. That, oh, that was actually on the television. Did you see? Oh. It was the most bipartisan thing in the building. It landed on Trump too. Oh, did it? Yeah, I didn't even yeah, see that. It wasn't the, equal. The fly. <laughs> the fly. I, I haven't seen that at the all. The fly yeah. was getting to know each candidate, <laughs> even the fly. Sucked a little blood out of each person, <laughs> yeah. and uh, there it didn't you go. die on the spot. I think we wait to see. I it. guess a good thing. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Hillary might have sent but her people. As far as Anderson, Anderson Cooper, I thought came yeah. across as too aggressive. I agree. But I don't know what the moderator is supposed to do mm. when the candidate blatantly doesn't answer the question. I think it's the other candidate's job to point. And that then out. they come across as interrupting. Would just wait till they're done. Or, I mean, but it, they're it, all interrupting. It's not like we. It, well, that's what's tough. Interrupting is normal. I mean. If you don't interrupt, if someone's going to start a point, they're given two minutes to make a point from A to A to D. Mm. If their premises, if the first two things they say are complete lies, and they're assuming them to be facts, it's going to change the rest of their response. So if you don't check them at that point, the audience really has no idea. That what they're basing it off of just isn't true. That they might be saying something about the other person that isn't but, true. Something about what they said before. Why? But then they should be consistent, though, and also call Hillary out when uh, she's wrong. Yeah. Because she was wrong quite a bit also. It's not like... Which is why we said last time, each one should bring their own moderator. Yeah. And, to, and then her to come out... Fact check. Mm. Bring your own fact check. I was just going to bring her to come out every single debate and go and say to check her website for the fact checker. 
Hillary, you're just as off. I want Bill O'Reilly versus you don't John even, Stewart. She doesn't even realize Back how <laughs> actually on the left Donald is on some of his policies. He's farther left than Hillary on some. Of on his some policies. of his policies, and he's she just six she's so years. confused by all this because she's so used to running against somebody who's completely opposite of her. She doesn't really realize, or she hasn't taken the time to realize the stances Donald Trump's actually taken that agree with her. And then she points them out, like, and she's completely off. And the, I, I would say, stop, stop bringing up the fact checkers. All politicians are lying. Right. And I, I think that's the point that I want to make here, just to lament against the media again, because I'd love to use that word. And I'd love Bashing to. Bashing on the media, the poor, defenseless <coughs> but media. Here's the, it's, it's, teamed up on the side. it's not all it's media. It's, it's really more cable. Branch of the campaign. It's, it's really more cable media news. It's been that way since the first election. It's Benjamin more the ca- it's more the cable <laughs> news here, and I think what they're doing Jim here Adams, is they are too biased, and they are uh, they they turn into a finger pointing party, and they actually make the reality TV show a lot worse, you know that that we're playing out here already, and it, it's just irresponsible. But isn't this a reality like show? I, Technically, I, the audience the audience watches a it is a, it is a contest, but it's a cheap a reality show. It's not. Yeah, but it's free. You just turn on any news station. We just get I to know, watch these two like YouTube spill each other's blood all over the debate. But stage. like, well, you were and saying, and we vote, and the winner is the president. You're right. It's so yeah. trivial. <laughs> it's like, but you're, but why you're, do they got to be the president? Oh, uh, what the party <laughs> should agree is the losing party should pick the Supreme Court justice. Oh, the winning geez. party gets the the winning party gets the president. No the losing party gets the that. Supreme Court justice. Nobody so they balance each other. Uh, it's a re- balance of power. The Republicans should have just took the offer Obama made. They should have. They should have. Now Obama in the Supreme Court. Imagine Obama in the black robes for the next thirty years. Are you being Come racist over there? Please vote. No, for that's Gary he wasn't. <laughs> no, that was that was a that was an unracist <laughs> joke. That was an unracist <laughs> joke. They do wear black yeah. robes. But I think, I think he'd be a good Supreme Court justice. I would have no issue with that. I think the debates, like we were saying earlier, if you want to have a true debate, if you want to have a true debate, I'm just staring debate, down right now. Know. It would make you can't so see because mad. this is all audio, but I am it's just better than Bill. Would you rather have Barack? Oh Bill? my! Who would you rather have on the Supreme well, Court? At least Bill's He's trying gonna have to, to get do rid of something in the White House. Yeah, I'll say, What's uh, he gonna do? At least Obama. We don't want an idle Bill. You do not want an idle Bill. Guys, guys, we're not talking about the Supreme Court right now. I don't want to talk about the Supreme Court right now. We were talking about was it? was Anderson Cooper too biased and I think he was because we didn't have any cross-examination go on at all during this debate not one cross (laughs) not one lawyer question was asked there was what about when Trump brought up the personal investigator (laughs) <laughs> he's gonna become president okay and create his own secret police i, I think that was actually our next section here but uh we, we will get that in a little bit i we, think that was ridiculous just on the face of it it's unprecedented literally in the world unprecedented where no president has ever done that before and it's i think unconstitutional I, don't quote me on happened. that but have I, we had any candidates running that have nixon completely prior to broke the law and everybody's aware of it has that happened yet? That's what I'm wondering. George Washington led a revolution against his government. Against Britain, but he didn't break the law of the United States. Once yeah, again, yeah, 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 this I'm is the Craig, <laughs> the Craig and Greg show. You got two host. criminals running for president. That's I'm your why. host, T. Alec. Clifford Harris. For this is Greg over here yeah. trying to talk over me. Say hi to. say hi to people. It's Greg. It's the Greg it's Greg 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 it's the Greg 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 I'm trying not to Tim Kane this. And I have... Uh, Sorry, uh, we're going to let Alex go. Uh, Alex yeah, go Alec, go ahead. Talk. 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 I have... Uh, I have muted your mics before, and I'll do it again. I'm just so. dancing the music. Just throwing that out there, but this is the Craig and Greg show. We're talking about presidential debate. Just talked about how CNN was probably a little too biased in it, but uh, you know, for this next segment of the show, I think we're going to talk a little bit about um, the body language and, and just the overall effect that this. Awkwardness. Uh, yeah, this awkwardness this, at the town hall. The format that this, this that this debate brought, and it, it was just strange. If they were doing what me and Greg are doing right now, they'd win. Yeah, they're dancing right here. They're they're loving uh, the John Tesh project here, you know. And he does an excellent rendition of September. If you ask me, let's oh, let okay. that play so out here a, a little bit. Okay. Are we gonna get words here soon? So we're gonna need the what? <coughs> Town Hall body language. What? That's gonna be quick. We've already addressed. This, this most is just of Trump this. standing behind this, Hillary, stalking her. Yeah, the floor, looking t- like, that was. I mean, sit down, Donald. Sit down. Take a break. Grab a glass of water. Hillary won't drink water, but you can. 
<laughs> I, I did think it was stupid, <laughs> though. Hillary will not drink water on stage, period. But ever in her again. Own personal ever life, too, again. According to uh, people yeah, part of her no, She actually doesn't like water. Yeah, you could get a little backlash on her if you mentioned, Hillary, drink some water, you look dehydrated. Hillary is a robot that drinks oil. No. <laughs> she, she, she does not drink water. She's like the Tin Man. She got petroleum. Uh, like the <laughs> Tin Man in uh, Wizard of Oz there, you know, just getting oiled up everywhere she goes. And, uh, yeah, she, she, okay, she gets oiled up. So, uh, so we're going to talk about then body language? No, here's, my, here's what I want to talk about the town hall style is – and what we talked about this the last show. What I what I liked about the town halls in the beginning was I think it does it does make it easier to transition between the issues, because you have, you know, people from the audience that are need to ask their question. If there's something they feel strongly about, they're going to ask it. It's not strictly coming from the moderator's mouth, but it's just as it's just uncomfortable to watch. I mean, get them a damn podium for Christ's sake. I mean, I don't understand why our politicians can't be arguing in front of a podium. Like, why Why can't we give no. that to, to them? Well, that would help Donald Trump stole because he's very awkward. To sit behind? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I, I guess this is just... The, the town hall like scenario that, is I Hillary like that Clinton's... It, like, that's her way of going back. And, and Bill was the same way. He was able to Bill was jump up and engage with the... Bill has some great documentaries out that I don't think he ever planned on Hillary running for president after. Mm-hmm. But he exposes his whole strategy. Yeah. The whole thing that you never sit down completely you on this spring out. So you, you have one, you one foot on the ground the one foot on the side so you can shoot can straight up like that's common you, you never, hear something you don't I like Trump with both legs up on the bar stool with his just hands crossed there on top of him like he's bored waiting for Hillary to finish yeah. that's it, lack of practice yeah. like I said he practiced for this debate like holding a, the mic like, like some a junior kind of high school making student. a toast at a wedding I think he may have done like a study guide or something <laughs> so that he had all the right responses but he didn't practice the town a hall little scenario. bit. A little bit. I mean, standard debate practice. You just, get the he stayed Craig, within his you bubble. You would be playing Hillary Clinton. Yeah. I would be here. We would both have a mic. We'd have like 10 people like Christy, Giuliani, yeah, and, and the gang. They ask us questions they think will be on. They record it and no. then watch it back with us and go, hey, yeah, but, this is where but you I, look awkward. I believe Donald, where, he, he may have ran a study guide through because he, he seemed prepared on the question, well, but he is, I mean, he was not prepared. He for sort the of did a style He sort of did a practice. The lurk. Was it one of the places oh, he no, was no, at? The Sean Hannity town hall where Sean yeah, invited 40 of his closest friends to go and ask questions Living to Trump sitting the behind a, a table. He was sitting at a table like an athlete does at a press conference. Living out a bubble. It was just a bizarre... That, that was his traditional practice. Prep. Mike that Pence did practice. a great job of that. He, his friend, He's a Scott Walker, come, came on, right. goes into character. You play out the debate. You go back and watch it. Pick out your strengths and weaknesses, and then move on. Do it. Do it again. Yeah. Do it. Make the corrections. Practice do it again. See how it looks. Like. It's boring. It's not as exciting about getting the locker up chant going in every state across the country, but it shows. It does. The academic in me. And I, I know it's it's a politician, and you could almost criticize Hillary for looking a lot like a politician. But being prepared is is a positive thing. I thought Let's, she looked weird. I she, thought she looked almost like you Amish. didn't. You didn't like the pantsuit again. No, I didn't. I thought I, I don't yeah. know what she was going for. I she was going for like pants constitutional pants it, it, or whatever. The, it's the upper jacket part. I, I thought it was kind of family father like for a woman. No, go. I think if you put a powdered wig on her, wear a typical pantsuit. It, uh, it looked very out of place. I wish she would just go to a normal. It looked out of place. It's for like just a female suit. What's wrong with the regular suit? Donald's not coming out in anything extravagant. Imagine if he did though. Imagine if Trump came out in all red like blazer. Oh man, collar. Oh, man. It should have came out all pink. All the NFL players were in pink. What, what kind of tie did he have? I didn't notice red. that. Oh, it was red. It was red. He wore the power tie. Okay. Power red. Classic. Power Classic. Yeah, I mean, it didn't make sense for the first two debates. That Do you the really? VPs and presidents switch ties. The, 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 it's just odd. Yeah, you wear your odd. team color. Yeah. That would be like teams coming out wearing Not the to interrupt jersey. you, Greg, but. Tim Kaine and me. Was there too much interruption by Trump in the debate? I, actually, I thought he was better. I, I thought so too. I, and I everybody came out, including myself, I earlier in the show. I interrupt a lot, as you'll notice with this show. I don't <clears> have <throat> as much a problem with <clears throat> interrupting. I think you got to check the facts as they are inappropriately said. I, but I, I feel like you got to let the person speak a little bit. Maybe yeah. if they're rambling on to the next thing, you fact check them real quick. Something, you know. But basically, if, if they can basically stick to the point, wait till the well, end and then. Like we, then it's not a back and forth line. thing, though. I think that's the point. Craig's yeah, because you'd be in too. jail. That was a that was a pretty good. It was a good one. He, got, he, he got went a back three or four. And it was at a good time too. It wasn't really interrupting. It was just oh, hitting that. Okay, it's a three on one. He got a couple of those in. He, I think throughout good, the debate, he, where he would sneak in a little sly comment here or there. I, I think the reason why they didn't view him as a win is because people thought he interrupted too much. But I think as far as Donald Trump standards go, right. he interrupted less than I thought. Than usual. He was he, yeah, he did. I mean, I. 
Once again, his bar is five worse. feet below I ground level. Way worse. Just staying alive is generally enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. You guys love to talk about the sniffling and everything, and I just I don't. I mean, I, once again, practice. The sniffling is just as relevant, I guess. I, it's A not little sniffling. Bit. I don't really think it's that it, bad. It's not sniffling. People, it's breathing through his nose. He doesn't know how to talk with a microphone. But if you want to call it sniffling, whatever, it's the same as us talking about her coughing. It's irrelevant. It's I, stupid. And, and well, no, the coughing is not. You can't practice not coughing. If you're sick, uh, you uh, cough. Uh, excuse me. I mean, they could practice having somebody come up and relieve her so she doesn't have to cough into the microphone. No, I mean, if he just practiced his prep with a microphone, he just learned not to. Yeah, he needs to breathe yeah. through her mouth. Pay attention. Hillary well, keep breathes it through her mouth. Your face. He you breathes through her nose. You don't have to hold it right up underneath your but nose the entire time. There's a hundred ways to do this. He just never watched a video of himself talking in a He's microphone. Never sat down with people who know what they're doing, and he has people on his team who know what they're Done. doing. Done. Pence proved that somebody on the team knows how to do this. Yeah. Somebody in the organization Pence can understands. Pence is experienced in these debates. And Giuliani, Christie, and Conway. I have no idea what they're doing. I, the echo chamber. They're out getting. Christie's out getting down. Uh, you guys know that when you hear the music, it's time to transition. So I'd just like to say, everybody, thank you for listening to the Craig and Greg Show. It's been a good discussion so far. We're going to keep things rolling here right after this short break. This is on. It kicks like a sleep switch. Once again, this is the Craig and Greg Show. I'm your host, Alec Joseph Italiano. <laughs> That was the break? I that was the I thought we were cutting to a commercial. No, we don't actually have to go to any commercials because we don't have anybody okay. paying to sponsor the show yet. We don't yet. have any sponsors we willing to pay enough yet. We yeah. have sponsors just banging Not out the door, enough. but they are but I still gotta looking get for a more concrete I still got to get you guys to stop <laughs> talking somehow, so that's uh, that's how I did it. That's so. about the only way. That's about the only way. I'd like to... Okay, let's, let's get on to the... This, uh, this techno, though. It's the <laughs> editors. That for anybody out there wondering, Papillon means butterfly in French. Good song, good song. Found it in a library near you. But, uh, anyways, I want to move on here to the uh, overall odd a situation. I don't my following it up. It's just, that's just, that's <laughs> you, get, you can't follow up at a later take, time. Take it how you want it. That's yeah, where that song came from. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know. I was responsible for the It's Over song. I'll take credit for that. <laughs> I am in charge of the transitions in case anybody was wondering out there. So. Um, we, we will pick on Alec for his song choices. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're very brutal. The old man. Very brutal people. A little bit of an old man, are. which is why I want to get back to uh, you know talking about the debate here because I care about this since I'm an older voter and I go every single time. Whereas young people might not vote every time. And I think that's one of the uh, reasons why we started this podcast. Wouldn't you guys say is try to get young people out there voting again? Try to get a little bit more. Uh, There's a lot of us. We aren't responsible for these two candidates. There. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump we are, are the not. same as they are it's now. Not our generation. When we were born. No. Like I, there is nothing. I've just been on this planet for 25 years. These two have continued to be themselves. I. We, I but here's my thing here. Going going down the stretch here. How, how many days we got left? Baby I mean, boomers. We're, we're coming 29, up. 29, I believe. 29. We're 29 just days. we're just under a month. Overall, odd situations going further. Yeah, there are a bunch of odd scenarios. There's a lot of different odd scenarios, and a lot of the, the, the commentary I was reading and hearing about today. I'm pretty sure that's unconstitutional. Yeah, I'm you pretty sure. You said special investigator? Too. I thought you said prosecutor. Yeah, prosecute, yeah. Well, I don't think that's unconstitutional. I think they use prosecutors. The point of the matter is you can't, di you can't, as a president, direct. Attack your enemies. With, exactly. You can't you appoint can't somebody to government. attack. Th that's McCarthyism. Right. That's we're talking. Hitler did that to get any politician. What I'm worried is people like Paul Ryan. Is he can start doing this to everybody? I don't think he's trying to silence her. I think it's that she actually committed a crime, which is pretty much undisputable. And any of us doing the same exact thing would be in. No, you're not given classified information, Craig. You don't get put in that situation. If we were in the military and we were in a situation where we received information, we hacked information, which I know somebody who does do that. And they would be in the ex they would be in extreme trouble for releasing it. The classification was using the information on a private server of any. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, but, but the, the thing is, is though, Colin Powell doing why it? Why are that we okay? even using? Why is he using it? I'm saying, why are these this leaders is a 21st using century emails? Problem. There was no historical. When the you when you say when you say it's overnight illegal. delivery. They should be sending it by paper. When you, oh yeah, I'm or messenger. I think the whole message we should take we from this is why is there anybody sending 
classified emails. Yeah. Like anything classified should be on burn notice. Yeah. You can do overnight delivery and still get it there quicker than you could in the 90s. Is there anybody in the government directing our politicians that's explain to them so, that this is dangerous? But that's why Hillary's decision to have a private server so that she could try and have her gossip talk privately. Is it wrong? Yeah. Is it you can prison for it, or did it necessarily? If it's happen? classified information, it shouldn't oh, wait, be. When I think negligence I is not that is not a way. Could you get out of a crime just by claiming you didn't know about it? I you didn't know think, that I, I've heard that said a lot today. That ignorance is. I actually believe ignorance is a defense. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you I can, can just say I didn't know that I couldn't smoke marijuana. No, you can, you can claim innocence, and that's, that's and that'll get you out of it. I, I, it, it's it's a argue. strategy. I mean, I'm not saying you have it's to argue that, that you, you have to argue that your intent was take that for what you want. You, you have to prove mm-hmm. that you didn't have negative intent. Right. I right. believe is that your goal wasn't to compromise national no, negative intent. That might have been an ignorant result of your action. Like you might have been ignorant of your decision to have a private. John Driving. You think you could take that? I don't think so. Yes. What are you being ignorant? Like of? if you I if you end up killing somebody else, I maybe I, I didn't have an intent to kill somebody. I didn't actually even know it was illegal. I think I it's just more was like driving with a beer in my system. I think it's more like okay, my boyfriend just robbed a supermarket, and the girlfriend is standing on the side in the car, yeah. not doing anything about it. The she cops still gets charged with the, the cops get them I, both. I don't, I don't know. She for gets sure. she gets, gets caught for ignorance. I mean, I'm not saying it's an accessory, but she knew about the plot. She didn't say anything about it. So I feel, I feel like ignorance is a crime. We'd have a lot more people in jail it's a tough one i mean it's definitely sure. something that can be fought out over cart if anybody out there does have a scenario they can relate to with this email us your story and, and put it on the air we'd like to have your factual information email me craig ryan at usa.com but is like to hear your story but it, is Clinton using her honesty as a defense? I mean, as the defense? I mean, is that... I, well, if you're referring to I the didn't. Abe thing... Yeah, the honest Abe thing. I've heard a couple explanations today about how Abraham Lincoln did... thought it was crazy. It, well, in his attempt to get the Congress to pass the 13th Amendment and outlaw slavery, he did kind of lie to them. Because he realized he had to tell them one thing. And meanwhile, he had his own agenda... Inside. Just like, just like Obama told us we keep our doctors for Obama. Technically, huh? a- Abe Lincoln's action to <laughs> suspend the writ of habeas corpus was unconstitutional. Right. Mm. He's one of two presidents to ever commit a flagrantly unconstitutional act. With Thomas Jefferson, when he bought the Louisiana Purchase. Right. These aren't legal decisions. These aren't constitutionally allowed. But they That's anyways. what he did, in able to get his inner truth, the truth that he really wanted Congress to realize that, but he felt they weren't capable of, which they were. Mm. So. The analogy kind of makes sense. I think the way Trump responded to it was great. That guy was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Was no, I thought it was talking about your besmirched the record of honest Abe. I, yeah. You're not honest, Hillary. I mean, and and that was the thing is like <sighs> Hillary set herself up for that. She did. She walked you know. right into it. That's why I, when she started talking about Abe Lincoln, I'm just sitting there like, where the hell are you going with this? Not even the right party, Hillary. I, this is, uh, this is, see, that's where I wanted Trump to say something like that because even though on paper he was a Republican, right. A Republican back in the 1860s would have been more Democrat today. The party switched. Socially. I don't, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess Abe Lincoln was for prohibition. He was very anti-alcohol, Socially, yeah. which I guess that would have been a progressive Horace Greeley. idea. At the Had time. a little influence there. But but he was not a Republican like today's Republican. And I, I think people are misunderstanding to too. Cons- is nuts. People don't understand it. No. Conservatives are a lot more down the liberal end, but they are not liberal. Uh, libertarian. Oh, end. you're dead on in that. <laughs> the libertarian. Libertarian, end. yeah. Mm-hmm. They just don't support the libertarian candidate because they have this mindset that we can't get a third party victory. And it's, it's, uh, this rhino Republican stance is what you all understand the Republican Party as. I have a completely different understanding of the Republican Party. But her current Republican Party that we have right now with Donald Trump as our candidate, I'm not on board with. So, I don't, well, I don't I think don't a lot of people are, Craig. I think that's that's you know that's we're gonna talk the, about that's that one thing more thing second here. Paul Ryan went a little a roll at the end of this. Yeah, but he did. The, but uh, the other odd thing was when he they asked him Pence, like they gave him Pence's views on Syria, right, and what to do with who we're gonna ally with with Assad. Iran, Russia. Definitely threw him under <laughs> the bus there. Goes, yeah, no, I disagree with that. Yeah. Not even not even a sugar coated political answer. Just right. straight up I disagree with my partner 
on one of the most important foreign policy issues. Which I'm not so sure if we've seen that too much in history of, of other presidential debates where we've seen the VP. Can- I mean, we've seen differences, obviously. You know, not every candidate's going to be the same. A straight up rebuke. But yeah, exactly. Like, like, just a very no. staunch, I don't agree with what he thinks about mm-hmm. this. And you see it flip side with Pence and Trump because Pence doesn't agree with Trump's, uh, you know, social, social policies. policies. Yeah. So. It's an interesting dynamic here, and then you know maybe we'll talk about this in the last segment about flipping the ticket and everything like that. I think it's clear Mike Pence cannot control Donald Trump. No, if you think Mike nobody Pence was expecting is him going to, to be any kind right. of voice of reason in the White House, he is just a person Donald Trump knew he's not going to outshine. Him, I, I which he see, ended up doing, and he was mad about it. I can see Donald Trump not being around enough and kind of letting Pence run the show because Donald's doing whatever he's doing all Running, the time, campaigning against. People in the, uh, people in Congress say disagree. Which with. is the same thing. They're they're accusing Obama staying in. Oh Washington yeah, I, he's setting a bad precedent a for this. He's setting a bad precedent for campaigning while on the job. Yeah, that's what. They're, they're, really they're claiming Obama will end around. up campaigning, going on interviews against anybody who disagrees with what he's set in place already, and that's why they think he's staying in Washington. At and any rate, like, at any rate, the whole thing was odd. It was odd. Yeah, it was odd. It was odd, and it was and awkward. awkward and and uh, I think we'll we'll see that, and you know, I, I guess they tried to talk about taxes at one point throughout uh, the, yeah. you know, that was odd itself. So Trump admitted to not paying taxes and said he does pay tax. He pays a lot of federal tax. I don't have a problem with Donald Trump taking any loophole that's available. What businessman wouldn't? I would say you're stupid if you didn't take it. Just that's an inter- interesting strategy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah very interesting strategy. That was a very strategy. bold. And then to bring up Warren Buffett, and then Warren Buffett today released his federal income tax. I was like, fine, Don, you want to do that? I paid a million five hundred. You didn't take a loss. But the loss is there. If the lo- These rich people... Donald does not understand the tax code like he's saying. No, his lawyers. No, he's lawyer. he's exactly. not his lawyers. Exactly. He's giving it to a professional who understands the tax codes, and he's giving him every deduction he knows. Take that stance, Donald. That's what the real stance is. You don't even know what the deductions you're getting. You're paying somebody to do it, and they're doing the best job they can because they get a check at the end. And we'll leave and you. That's with, the reality. And we'll leave you with the last word on that one, Craig. Just like to remind everybody that you are listening to the Craig and Greg Show. I'm your host, Alec, and uh, we've been talking about so how October odd, 11th, how odd things are in this in this debate. But uh, we're going to be talking about the fallout after a couple of seconds here from Rusted Root. This is for our music lovers out there, by the way. Yeah. Is there any songs you guys want to hear? We had, we had a couple hip-hop songs worked in, but we didn't know if they fit. We got people just tuning in and just listening to music. They don't even want to hear what we, we say. We should have played a Yin Yang song for guys, the Donald uh, Trump segment. Play like the Whisper the, song. Appealing to the <laughs> audience isn't going to make... Uh, isn't going to make boole, me boole, boole, get, my, get my great songs off that easy. So, <laughs> good, good try, though. Please you do. Know. At any rate, I, I do want to talk about let's the fallout here. we got about eight minutes left in the show. And, uh, you know, the, after everything is said and done and the, and the, du- the dust has settled and everything about the, this audio and, and, and all this static, I, I just think it's real static. And the me in the role the media is playing or not playing really, I think, is actually more of what the conversation should be around. But does Trump basically live to die another day? I mean, I think that's the case. He has a cockroach. He never die. He can say anything. He can do anything. He can shoot someone in the street. And he's but not going to die. I just think like, this, like soli- said, this debate solidifies a Hillary Clinton victory in my mind, and I could be biased. Like, like I said on my show, the American people, I think, for the most part, the majority of them want to support Donald Trump because they want to stop Hillary. But he just keeps talking them out of it. And yeah. I think for the first time, he actually didn't talk them out of it during this debate. Maybe some of them, but I think he did. This is probably one of his best appearances. So on the flip I've side of that, though, the, Greg, it, does Hillary take... Does, did she take full advantage of her opportunity? No, I don't no, think so. No, she missed a lot of chances. No, I, I, I don't. I'm surprised she didn't have another uh, Machado to drop. Another name that Trump just forgot about. We That's somebody too. that we got video of. I thought that was going to come out. I think what's more interesting with what Paul Ryan has said before, are you voting for something or are you just voting against something? Mm. Because I think in this particular election, most people voting are voting against issues is. as opposed to voting for something they believe in, which is a concern, which I think Paul, Paul Ryan, to me, he's either going to save his career or he's going to ruin it, depending on how he handles this. Because if we're worried about, okay, Donald's a little bit of authoritarian, but we got checks and balances to keep him in control. 
We have a Congress and a Supreme Court. Well, he's appointing the ninth justice. And so far, the Congress can't handle him as a candidate, yet alone as a future president. Once he starts actively campaigning, actively using the media as his weapon. We're talking about... A future Trump presidency and how Paul Ryan and his House of Representatives are going to be able to keep him in check like they did Obama. As a, as a plea right, to the Hillary right. supporters there, don't be afraid to support the third party candidate because if Trump does get in there, I mean, with this recent stuff, they may block a lot of his decisions and not let him do what he wants. It's the same thing you will see if Hillary gets in there. They're going to block everything he does. We run... I mean, the, I, the Republicans. It's a lot of trust in the Congress that has the only bill they've passed in the past four years is one that said we can sue Saudi Arabia. So they may not pass and anymore. Then, and and then they go. I, and I say, don't have a problem with Shame Jaylock. on Barack Obama thing. for not convincing us not to do it, I even though he had. Gridlock's a good thing. We don't yeah, always need to be moving. Either. We don't need to be moving on every policy that happens. It's, it's not like we constantly got to be doing something there in Washington. At some point, we can say we're good right now. We can take a little bit of time. A nice, slow-moving yeah? government. I don't want a quick, aggressive, nimble-on-your-feet government that can just pass laws real quickly. The only problem we're seeing is where they make money off of yes. being a government position. Money, I don't care if they money make money on their grid. private bus- business, but when you're using your public position to earn money there i see a problem and that's what we're seeing with hillary clinton already and i think we'll see that definitely with trump i mean trump was the one using his money to influence the two sides of the same coin this is the yin and the yang of money and politics so you you, supporting either of these candidates is absurd and i i think you're ridiculous if you are supporting them i understand your arguments typically for either candidate trump or hillary but (laughs) if you actually have any moral ground looking to uh gary johnson (coughs) Some of you can look into Jill Stein, but look at Gary Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> there is Jill Stein, but really, Gary Johnson. Yeah. No, but for me, I, the, the stark contrast in this election is I've never witnessed, experienced, seen through all the consumption of media that we've been doing about this uh, election so far. How many people are still just caring about one election, one uh, issue, one I- single issues that's going to end up defining this, this whole election? I mean, Brexit. You, Single line voters. Single line voters. I mean, you have, I think, abortion, your biggest thing. I mean, that's. Abortion's that's, a big one. That's People the big number one. I think that's almost on. gone. I think we're about a decade away from that would no longer be a political issue. Per, per, maybe. But personally, I don't, I don't even know think Donald that. Trump believes in abortion. No, he, I have him on record saying right. he doesn't. This but, is just a thing to get the evangelicals. But who are really, very easily exactly. Swayed. And then you have so many conservatives. He doesn't believe in her, he's, he's okay with it. Well, he's fine with abortions. Yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. Right. Yeah, that's, and then this is where you see the flip of the ticket yeah. and the pens. And I and I and I read a interesting column today about how if they if the RNC did actually want to f- bring in another candidate, how they could do it. It technically is possible. I mean, te- you should mm, either be they're not getting on the death sick or otherwise. But exactly, that's he's not going to win. All Trump these Trump supporters down. are going to be like, that's well, the screw thing. You. Exactly, it's too late to get anybody they're, on the they're, ballot. They're, this, the ticket people, people are already voting. Early voting has started. There was zero, so there was absolutely zero percent chance. Unless he literally fell over dead tomorrow. Endorsed the third tomorrow. party candidate. That's that. That was really Gary the only thing they Johnson can do. Gary Johnson is pretty. They, they can jump to Republican, another ship that's already. And, he, and all those like social issues, like which I think about, most Democrats care about, Gary Johnson's is on their but side. But like we talked about before, about Gary Johnson. Don't think that big of a deal. Gary Johnson pulls more votes away from Hillary than she does from Donald. So yeah. if you don't, if I think you it's actually, social. I think so. If you do actually want to stop. If you do want to actually stop a Trump candidacy, then I think you're better off voting for Clinton than you are for Johnson. Maybe. I I, I actually don't think he's taking as many Hillary voters. I'm not afraid to let Hillary win because I'm not afraid to let the Democrats face potentially the fallout of their own policies. Let's not get into letting the opponent win so we can blame them for every problem. Well, because they're going to blame us. It's it's what happened with Bush. He got blamed for the housing market crash, and it wasn't his fault. The government always gets blamed for everything. But it's let them take their own heat so that we can run the table right after. Thank you all for listening. Whoa, no, wait, whoa, time out. We didn't get to talk about the handshake. I want to talk about the handshake for a second. All right, great, got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, man. Okay, Jesus. We are running out of time. So they didn't, t- they didn't make a handshake to start off the debate. At the end of it, though, Trump actually goes out of his way to shake hands with Hillary. After, we didn't talk about the last question either, about what you liked the most yeah. about the other candidate. Because I really feel like Trump ended it on the best note, and I think I people, think Hillary when you it. leave... I think Hillary went on to talk about she herself. She didn't compliment Trump. She did block. She blo- She knew Trump was going to go with the I respect your daughter, so she blocked that option for him. 
He had huh? the time to th- somehow he thought about it. I thought that was a way of paying a compliment without actually complimenting. Well, no, I your think kids th- are good. I think Trump's prepared somehow, response somehow to that. Somehow they been, managed to make it through your household. I think Trump's re- prepared response to that would have been, "I respect your daughter Chelsea," because that's what he said after the last debate, going into the spin room. I think his response so was honest. His response. I think was really good. It was to the point. He didn't really make it all about himself. He's I think he was referencing she the completely Hillary went didn't off the chart pursuing on the sexual harassment. But I got that out of his. Well, when, she, when, they, when he was saying Hillary never gives up, he was more referring to he kept hounding the people that harassed. Him. I didn't think about it that way, but you that's what right I there. picked up. On. She, it, I didn't is really feel that is it true? Especially after he's attacked her stamina. For, for three months, we've been having her go, she has no stamina, she has no stamina. And meanwhile, he says, well, she never gives up a fight. That, to me, is almost right. the definition of stamina. Right. And so all, I didn't get... I that. actually thought Trump gave her too much on that question. I, I think, that's, to me, I read that as an insult. Right. I did not look at it as a... Because especially that he said, I disagree with everything she says. That's a way I to look at it. I disagree with everything she does. That's a way to look at it, but I, I didn't see it that way. And I, I think he ended on a good note. And I think when the viewer leaves, all they really remember is the way a candidate made them feel, not actually what they said. So, But the handshake thing, what I want to get to, over the next couple of days, we're going to be putting out clips of different comments. I'm just going to read through. I've done way too much research into our candidates' books. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to read some of these chapters so that you're no longer surprised when you hear these <laughs> things about Donald. Because his handshake, his handshake chapter is fascinating. Mm-hmm. It truly is just we're, a we're, yeah. We're gonna get somebody started. It is a bizarre. We get into these final weeks here. The we're gonna release the multiple a day here. The yeah. art of the handshake. Right. We're the working on the them. Hair, we're we getting got. them all together, and we're gonna be releasing them so you can share it with all your friends, and we can get these stories. You get, out you'll, you'll laugh, you'll cry. We got some insightful comments. Just when he says something, that you're like, I can't believe he actually thought this. He'll come out with some words of wisdom that you're like. Whoa! I, I don't know how this from? is just peppered. Like it's just one paragraph here. No organization. Just I blame, the, I blame the editors. I blame Trump the editors. Vote, vote not, your not conscience. The, not the band. Vote your conscience. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say I blame the band. Yeah, not vote the band. your conscience. Please vote vote your conscience. conscience. Thank you all for listening. This is the Craig and Greg show. Ciao. I'm your host Alec, and I hope you'll be joining us next week. We'll be continuing the conversation Still as looking always. For audience input. We're looking for that audience. If you guys want to ask all the questions, we're just handling them one at a time. Again, go to editorialreview.us. You can check out the full archive of shows, and that is also where you can leave your comments. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful night. <laughs>